How's all my people out there in Facebook land? This is Brother Justin Boren with Living Water Ministries FLF. Just uh, checking in, seeing how all of y'all are doing this week. I hope you had a fantastic Sunday. There's an amazing conference happening out at the Rock Church in Bridgeport uh, this week. Tonight will be the Revival Night, so I encourage you to go out to the Rock in Bridgeport, Texas, right off of 380. And... uh, Come hear the gospel truth that will be delivered tonight by Senior Pastor Tim Jenkins. Uh, we had just an amazing uh, minister's uh, conference there yesterday uh, for Army, the Associated Association of Related Ministries International, as well as an entire hour of praise and worship uh, with a family as one. Man, it was just fantastic. Man, there was just a praise parade happening. A lot of lives got touched for kingdom. There was a lot of uh, salvations. There was a lot of rededications, a lot of healings. But, uh, you know, more so than that, uh, Christ just filled the room with the Holy Spirit. And uh, I just want to share with you, there's an amazing revival taking place right now in North Texas, especially the Metroplex, the Westerplex. And so I would just love for you to be a part of that. 7 p.m. tonight at The Rock in Bridgeport, Texas, right off of 380. If you have any questions or if you need a ride, please DM me. Please message me. And uh, we'd love to get a caravan of folks going out there tonight. Um, Health and healing update uh, for me. Uh, Right now, uh, we are moving towards uh, the upcoming surgery for the defibrillator impossible blood pump. Uh, As of two weeks ago, I did make the heart transplant list. I'm now underneath that BMI. I go back to Baylor Scott & White in Dallas tomorrow uh, for two MRIs of my chest. And also, I go back Wednesday for two sonograms of my legs. Be praying for me and my legs right now. I still have not gotten uh, my strength back in my legs, and so I'm still on crutches and in a wheelchair uh, but God is faithful, and uh, He's healing me, and He's using me now more than ever. Uh, this is something that has been on the desire of my heart for so long, is just to be used and be used in a way in which glorifies kingdom. And so how appropriate it is that my weakness is His strength now. Um, praise report, Ted is is at... Uh, Charlie and Judy's house in Colleyville, Texas, and he is just living it up at the Ritz. He has his own room. Uh, He has his own patio with uh, his own bed, and he has a pool that he just lives in now, and uh, he has never looked better. And so thank you, Charlie and Judy, for taking care of my dog, Ted, right now and fostering him while I'm on this health and healing journey. Uh, I did get my PC referral recommendation from my PC doctor to start uh, physical training, and so I'll be doing that in Colleyville uh, by the end of this week. And so, looking forward to making further gains and uh, getting where I need to get to to be able to stand and deliver the gospel truth again. I'm still enjoying our time together and doing these live streams and these recordings. I sure miss uh, my body out in Alvoy, Texas, at Albert Oaks. And, uh, and also the greater Decatur community. I miss y'all so much. I miss my family at McCarroll Middle School. Go Eagles. And uh, looking forward to being back in the soon and near future. I want to say a special thanks to all of you that have reached out uh, with prayers, uh, with just positive sentiments, and then especially uh, with uh, wanting to uh, provide meals for my family and I during this time. That's been such an answer of prayer. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to to Jenny Herod uh, for stepping up in that accord, as well as my new neighbors, uh, Thomas and Jennifer, for blessing us with meals. Uh, It has really been uh, just so humbling for us to to have so much support. Uh, We're looking forward to going back tomorrow and Wednesday and getting a good report over our last uh, blood panel, as well as a good report over the upcoming preparation for the uh, first surgery, the defibrillator impossible blood pump. Uh, The meds 
the new meds seem to be working. Um, I'm starting to breathe better uh, whenever I speak. And so that's, a, again, another answer prayer, praise report. And I have still been off of oxygen now for now over uh, five weeks. I have not had to have any additional oxygen, uh, whether during the day or at night when I sleep. So praise God for that. So we are making gains because of Jesus and what he did on the cross 2,000 years ago. We get to live off of his finished works and his report card. So praise God for that. Uh, right now, it's the perfect season for it. It's a perfect season for a miracle, especially in this third season of revival. Uh, again, there's signs and wonders that are happening all around the world right now. There's prophecy that's literally coming true before our eyes. These are amazing times to live in. With all this bad stuff that's happening and all these things that we just can't understand in the natural, we can understand them in the supernatural because they were prophesied. We have things that are coming to fruition that were prophesied by the prophet Elijah, the prophet Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah. Things that have come to fruition as prophesied in the track of Christ. So just rest and receive in the word and know that we serve an almighty master that loves us despite ourselves and the things that happen in this natural world, this fallen world that will turn to dust someday. And so I just want to encourage you to receive that perfect righteousness. We're but filthy rags without it, but because Jesus, omnipotent God, decided to die on the cross for us and take on the sins of both past, present, and future, we can choose within free will to receive that and live in a way supernatural right here in this fallen world and know that um, everything that we do, um, both the highs and the lows, the hills and the valleys, that, that you know we're not to judge. In fact, we're not even called to live in self-condemnation. Uh, we're called to repent. We're called to recognize. We're called to receive of Him and to also respond. And whenever you are receiving of Him, you're going to respond in Him because we get convicted about our convictions. And so I want to challenge Christians, God-fearing folk, I want to challenge those that are sitting on the fence right now, uh, knowing that you have you, you hear that soft whisper, uh, just like Elijah, just like Job did in the cave. You might be in a cave right now. You might be in hiding, okay, as the good book says, he's hunting you down anyways. You might be a lost ball in high weeds, and you don't have a clue <laughs> what's going on right now. And trust me, I know because I've been there. You have an almighty God that loves you with an amazing agape love that he can't love you anymore and he can't love you any less. He'll take you right where you are right now. And so if you want to choose to receive of him, if you want to choose to receive into your heart of hearts, mind, body, soul, filled with the spirit and operate spirit up, not soul down, and, and not live carnally minded and selfishly in this fallen world, I challenge you, I challenge you, to pray this prayer with me because it will forever change your life. You'll be able to live in such a way in which you have so much just power and authority as well as just an overflow of his steadfastness, of his faithfulness, because that's our receipt in Jesus because of cross. It's our manifest destiny and kingdom. And so please, if you want to receive of him and, and, and make a change for the better, make a change that is not only a, a faith change, it's not only a spiritual change, but it's an eternal change. Please choose to pray this prayer with me now. Father God, Lord, we know that, that we are selfish, carnal minds and bodies. Lord, we know that uh, we make mistakes. We know that we're but filthy rags, but made righteous because of the free gift of the cross. And Lord, we just humble ourselves we choose to receive you into our heart of hearts, mind, body, and soul. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us the power and authority of Jesus Christ whenever he walked this earth 2,000 years ago. Let us have the mind character as well as love rooted in your Christ's likeness, your manifested grace and mercy. And Father God, we repent of our sin. We allow you to wipe the slate clean. Make us like the unblemished lamb because we know we're made in your image. And Lord, 
we just choose to live for you. We choose to live by faith. We know we don't have to understand it all, but you do. And so we give you all praise, all glory. In your holy name we pray, amen. Brothers and sisters, if you, choose, if you just chose to uh, pray that prayer, welcome. Because now you're a son and daughter in kingdom. And your life is forever changed. Your life has value. Your life has worth. You are worthy of acceptance. And you have been ushered into the kingdom. And now you have an amazing opportunity to be a vessel for the gospel in all things. In all things. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, God took me just as I was, and he made me something new, a new creature in him. That's what he's done for you now. And let me share something with you. Uh, it doesn't get any easier. Um, we still fail. Uh, but we're living on the track record of Christ now, and so we just do our best. Even though we lack, Jesus takes up the slack. And... We get to channel that into everything that we do now. So give everything unto him. Give your burdens, give your woes, give your angst, give your anxiety, give your depression, give your health, because health is wealth, amen? Give him your praise report. He, de he deserves all that. He's faithful that way. That's what he wants. Check in with him. Check in with him. He is so faithful and zealous that he is always working on your behalf. He is always loving back on us. And he always wants his best in our lives. Amen. Praise God. If, if you're still, if you're still hurting, if you're still in pain, if you're still fighting your sin nature, if you're still fighting those sins of the father, sins of the mother, those things that have happened in your life that you just don't feel like, well, I, I believe in him. I believe that there's a God. I believe that there's a supreme being over my life. And I, I think he loves me. But I don't know if he believes in me the same way that I could believe in him. Let me, let me share something with you. He believed in you whenever you were a speck, whenever you were just a twinkle in your father's eye. He loves you that much. He will qualify you. He will justify you. He will take you just as you are, as raw as you are, and he'll crown you right now if you choose to do so. If you have questions, if you have um, things that, that you want to clear up, if you want to, uh, you know, just have a soundboard, I'm here for you. I'm here for you, and, and we're here for you. If you're a brother and sister that has made the, the pledge to be more, I want you to understand now that you have chosen to receive of him, you're underneath, as it says in Psalms 91, you're underneath his great wing, his great wing of protection, and we're joint heirs in that, and we're also joined at the arms in that, and so you have brothers and sisters to lean on. You have brothers and sisters to hold you accountable, and you have brothers and sisters to edify, exhort, and care for you. As Christ loved the church, amen. The church is not the building. It's the perfect season for a third season revival. We tear the roof off. We knock the four walls down. And we just choose to love each other. We choose to live in Christ's likeness and manifest Christ's likeness. Matthew 18, 19 through 20. It tells us so. Where two or three or more are gathered, he is here. He's here right now. And where we come into agreement, so it shall be done. And so I am in agreement that those that are receiving this message right now to get convicted of their convictions, for their Holy Spirit to get activated, for long standing doubt to be dismissed, and also for sozo peace in their lives and for them to receive of our Father into their heart of hearts, our great comforter, our great healer, our great protector, because he is our shepherd. We are his sheep. We know his voice, and he's hunting us down. He'll leave the 99 and come back for the one. He is always going to hunt you down out of love. He's always going to hunt you down. 
because he made you in his image. He loves you despite your sweet self. He loves you despite your addictions. He loves you despite your despair. He loves you despite your depression. He loves you despite the things of your past that you've done. He loves you despite the things that you do in the darkness. He loves you despite the things that have happened to you that you had no control over. He forgives you and you need to forgive yourself. But you have to bear unto him those burdens, Galatians 6. And we have to stand as brothers and sisters linked in the arms and support one another and bear those burdens unto one another. Despite our sandpaper person, despite that person that no matter how hard we try, they still tend to rub us the wrong way. In fact, we're called to love those people just as much because they don't even know that they're deceived. Pray for them. Pray for them. The power of prayer is amazing, and it works. Pray, pray, and pray some more. I like to say trust, obey, pray, repeat. I like to say repent, receive, recognize, respond. It's, it's so important. It's so important that we do these things because without them, we're living a life of half-truths. We're living a life that is going to be carnally minded and selfish because everything that we do will only be measured by self and self-worth, which leads to self-indulgence, self-depravity, and eventually self-pity. We're not going to throw pity parties. We're going to dismiss death. We're not going to speak death. We're going to speak life. So I speak life to you today on this health and healing journey because health is wealth. It applies to every facet of your spiritual walk. Uh, please go on to our blog on Living Water Ministries, FLF, and, and read our last article as it applies to... Uh, presumptions and presuppositions within the Christian apologetic because a lot of it is just opening our Bible and getting in the Word. If you want to defend the gospel truth and do it in a way in which is literally an ironclad defense, but you're doing it with grace, open your Bible. Open your Bible, believers. Open your Bible, Christians. We need to stop regurgitating just what we hear on Sundays, and we need to make it an everyday lifestyle. We need to make it an everyday, an everyday goal to share Jesus without fear. Because if we're not doing that, we might as well bury our, our brothers and sisters because we've kept them from the Word. Our job right now in this third season of revival is to get as many across the goal line as we possibly can. In fact, let's take it a step farther. The two truths that we were left with by Jesus, along with the Ten Commandments, but it was to be vessels for the gospel in all things and give the first of our fruits. That, that's in every facet of our walk. If he gave his best for us, we should give our best in him every day. It's the he and me. It's the me because of him. Amen. I love you all so much. Remember, health is wealth. Live it. Value it. Channel it. It's contagious. I, I look forward to the miracle to come in regards to my continued healing because it's a platform for Christ because he gets all the glory, all of it. If anything that's happened through this process is he has removed what little pride I had left in this natural world, stripped my flesh and humbled me to allow me to be further used in a new ministry that I, I never thought I had the giftings in. I, I honestly um, probably dismissed them because it was spooky to me at one time in my life. It's not anymore. I've seen the power and authority of Christ in regards to healing my life. I challenge you to see these three verses in the Word today. I challenge you to see these three verses in the Word today. Faith cometh by hearing and by seeing. And so I speak them to you. So hear me now. Isaiah 53, 5. Proverbs 4. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. Murmur and meditate on those three gospel truths today. 
and Jesus will show off and show out mightily in your life. Amen. I love you all so much. Have a blessed day in Jesus.